Well, good day to everyone. This is This Week at Lebanon Road, and I'm J.D. Buckner. I'm here with Andrew Pate. And if you haven't already noticed, Brother Adam Fawn is not with us uh, at this day. We figured that having two handsome faces like Andrew and Adam in one video would just overwhelm everybody. So we're going to start alternating only two people doing the This Week at Lebanon Road uh, to give everybody an opportunity. And every once in a while, there'll be all three of us together. <laughs> but uh, I'm glad to be with you today. Uh, we thought we'd spend this week talking to Andrew since uh, he's new to our ministry staff here, doing already doing a great job working as the youth minister, and we thought this would be a good opportunity for you to get to know him a little better and for him to talk to the congregation a little bit more about uh, what he feels like doing in, in his youth ministry and the plans that he has and, uh, and anything that he wants to tell tell the congregation so Andrew youth ministry what do you feel like saying today well first off uh, I was pounded pretty good on Sunday <laughs> uh, Sarah and I we got home and we counted and we had like 20 pounds of sugar and, and, and you know we were so happy to have all that and you know and that was it was great to, was to come sweet. home it really was quite was sweet, sweet. Yeah. yeah we we enjoyed that and it took us around two hours to unwrap your blessings and so we were really happy to have that and uh couldn't tell you you know it, it's just been a blessing to be here thus far um i kind of like i said on wednesday night you know i'm back because you know i was here over the summer i enjoyed being able to get to work with jd and get to work with all of you with the mission trips and camps and bbs i don't really plan on changing a whole lot of things to start off with um i know that uh if i was to come in and just blow up everything it would be chaos so i don't really want to do that i want to make sure that uh we don't fix what's not broken you know everything here is, is going well and jd's done a great job of keeping everybody involved but um this month of january we are going to start off with eu which is this weekend for the kids yeah. uh, it's a great uh event to where they get to have a workshop of evangelism uh they'll be be asked to go to separate, several different classes. There are many different religious backgrounds, and so they can choose which religious background they'd like to study so that they could one day go in and have a, um, a Bible study with these. J.D. would tell you that this is a very great event, and if you haven't been, um, it's almost a little too late this year, but next year, if you'd like to come, we'd be more than happy to have you with us. Also, uh, this coming up this Monday, I think is the Bulletin Board Bash, which is on the 20th. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and I am not totally um, familiar with this bulletin board bash. JD is. It'd be more of, um, I guess, from, I guess self-explanatory. Well, you know, uh, we do it every year in January, and it's going to be Monday night, January twentieth, and it's a time that we revitalize all of our bulletin boards. There are some kits that will be handed out, or, you know, at each bulletin board to decorate it. Uh, we do all of those sorts of things. It's a great fun night. We usually have pizza there, and we just show up and take down the old decorations, put up new bulletin boards. For our youth group, it's it's really cool because our giant picture collage board, uh, we redo that every year at this time. So we take down all the old pictures, put up all new pictures. We get to enjoy that, and everybody gets to see and remember fun activities. So that's a great congregational event that I mm -hmm. hope that a lot of people uh, from Lebanon Road will come and help do that and enjoy that time together. So now light has been shed on this event to me, so now I know it's not just a youth event, it's a congregational-wide event. So yeah. uh, it's always cool to see people, um, you know, hey, you look a little older this year, you know, with those <laughs> pictures. So uh, I'm excited to see that and see the new ones come up. Um, so I expect there to be neon lights and things like that around the bulletin boards to kind of make it pop. So if That's you right. have any ideas of that, you know, go ahead. LEDs. Man. Yeah, LEDs even better. Yeah, <laughs> Neons kind of in the old days. But anyways, uh, also on uh, January the 26th, uh, I'll have my first parent meeting. Uh, I am very excited to be able to get to meet more of you, also get to know you better. I had lunch with a couple of you on Sunday, and you expressed your excitement. Uh, concerns and things that you wanted to see happen uh, I'm really excited to be able to hear what you have to say uh, also I plan on having a calendar there so that way we can have an idea of what uh, we wanted to accomplish there but this is a time for you to express to me what you would like to see done maybe some uh, speaking ideas that you had for 
maybe camp or the retreats or uh, any type of activity that you'd like to see happen this summer or something like that, I, that's the time where, we're express, where we will express that. Also, after the parent meeting, we will also have pizza and a devotional. Uh, now, we're going to try our best not to have this run too late, uh, but uh, we figured it'd be a good time for everybody since we're all together. The kids will be there just to go ahead and have a short devotional, have some fellowship, and then kick off uh, February with a bang. That's, so That's great, man. Can you take a minute and just uh, tell the people who are watching how, how important do you feel like parents are in, in the youth ministry? They are vital um, because if you don't have parents backing you, you really don't have a support system other than the kids. And it's hard to accomplish things if you don't have a network of people doing behind the scenes work. Um, I tell you, if I was to try to do this all by myself, I would fail. And and anyone would tell you that. JD would tell you that. Uh, you've just got to have a great group of parents. And I believe that we have a great group of parents here at Lebanon Road. I experienced that over the summer. Uh, camp and VBS, it just went phenomenal over the summer, and, and I could not have been happier. So parenting, uh, the support of parents is a very big deal to the growth of a youth ministry. Yeah, we're so lucky at Lebanon Road to have, like you said, Andrew, so many active parents. And you know we've discussed before that parents remain the single greatest influence in the lives of their children, even though it doesn't seem like it sometimes, especially if you got teenagers, <laughs> am I right? But uh, it's true. You just, every, every survey, every statistic, every analysis, it always mm -hmm. shows that. So parents, like you said, so important in the youth ministry program, so important in developing the faith of, of young people at Lebanon Road. So we're grateful for our parents. And we take this time to encourage them to make every effort to be a part of the youth program. I'm so glad you're doing this uh, parent meeting and everybody can talk and get together with a game plan and start to work here. Uh, Andrew's a great guy. He's built really strong relationships with the kids already uh, over the summer and even being back now. So a lot of good opportunities at Lebanon Road to help us fulfill our goals and loving God and building relationships making disciples, and helping everyone become like Jesus. Andrew, you got anything else you want to share today? Um, just really excited to be here. Um, I can't express that enough. Um, I know that uh, you were excited also seeing from all the smiling faces and things here. We're going to have a great year, and with God, all things are possible. And with you also helping, too, uh, it's, it's just going to be a phenomenal year, and we hope that uh, we can accomplish every single goal that we have this year. Well, we're so glad that you've tuned in today, and we hope that you've enjoyed this video. Uh, maybe not our typical video where we have a, a good devotional thought or a, a spiritual discussion, but certainly a great opportunity to talk a little bit about the youth program and to uh, get Andrew's point of view and things that he wants to do. We hope that you'll make every effort to be a part of our youth ministry program and support Andrew, and I know you will. And I think that that's all we have for this week at Lebanon Road, so hope you have a great day. Thank you.